relax. You don't have to kill yourself in this detail. Sit down, have a smoke. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, you new men are all alike. Everything you see in this island seems wrong to you, huh? How long have you been around? A long time. Yeah, when I got here, maybe the only new man they had sent over maybe 10 or 12 years. Like you, I was pretty nervous. But I got over it, and so will you. You know, the thing that puzzles me is the, the amount of freedom the prisoners get here. <laughs> what do they need guards for? Except maybe some kind of formality. Oh, no, there's more to the job than just that. Here is mainly discipline. Sure, every convict is not locked in a cell the way he should be. Actually, it's run more like an army. But when they get out of control, that's when we go to work. I'll tell you one thing. If I were one of them, I'd take off in a real hurry. Oh, you would, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah, well, that's the same fallacy every new prisoner makes. <laughs> it may look easy, but you take it from me. Nobody's ever gotten off this island. Well, I can see how they wouldn't last long in the ocean, but what about the jungle? Rough going, sure, but I bet it could be done. Well, a lot of them have tried it. And you're right about one thing. The jungle is good and rough. But you see, it's not the jungle that stops them. It's the natives. Yeah, I've heard about them. They're supposed to be almost as primitive as the aborigines, right? And 20 times as bloodthirsty. And when I say blood, I don't mean elderberry wine. Anytime they see a white man, it splashes into every jug available. Voodoo and all that, huh? Yeah, voodoo. Just don't try to find out. You sound like the voice of experience. Yeah, well, I went in there once. They offered me a fat bonus to go in after one of the lifers. Did you get him? Well, you might say we got part of him. His head. Only when we saw it, it was the size of a grapefruit. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you speak about voodoo. <laughs> well, I saw plenty of that, too. Plus a few dozen other things, which can last me the rest of my life. Did you get a close look? I mean, the rituals. Yeah, I'm afraid I did. It's crazy when you think about it. I don't know what we were thinking about. Moving in the way we did. I knew at the time that my thinking mechanism was running in low gear to say about the best for it. By any standard of good sense, we should have turned on our heels and headed out of there fast before the men of the tribe came out to join the women. Curiosity being what it is, I suppose there's always a time when logic is thrown out the window. Near as I could figure, it was some kind of death sacrifice. I don't know if the girl had some kind of drug in her or not, but the thing that got me is, she didn't seem to mind in the least what was happening to her.
Yes, I got a first-hand view of what you might call an exclusive. And uh, I don't think there's any other white man still alive who's had a chance to tell this story. Well, aren't they isolated to some degree? I mean, there must be thousands of miles between here and Brazil where a man could stay hidden. Well, that's true. But that hasn't been proven. No, those Indians control the jungle. And the friendly ones, well, they can't be trusted all the way. How many prisoners try it each year? Well, none of the regular do. That is, after they get on the island to see what their chances are. But the new ones, oh, as soon as they get here, they all have a go at it. I guess they're the only ones with strength enough in them, or about the only ones naive enough. that you men forget very quickly. Every man takes care of himself. Don't forget it. Please. Will you be seen by a doctor? I see you keeping the grounds in shape. Oh, yes, Captain. You can always count on Estes. That's good. Keep it up. Uh, Captain. Or the Commandant's daughter. Uh, thank you, Estes. I think the Commandant's daughter will be very pleased.
sit down. You're just in time for breakfast. Anything happen while I was away? No, no problems. Well, where's Marlene? She'll be right down. Oh, Lestie says there are those flowers. I doubt if they'll mean much to her. Oh, well, she one of her moods again? I wish I could put my finger on it. I don't think it's just the isolation. Her mother's been up under that very well. If you two could just settle your differences, I think marriage would take care of everything. Yeah, well, that's easier said than done. Anybody that can handle men like you do, Ward, should be smart enough to win a woman's favor. Well, good morning. We were just talking about you. Oh? Was it the usual conversation? What do you mean by that? Nothing. Nothing at all. Mommy, how about some breakfast? I'm not hungry. Come on, you have to eat. No, I don't. I only have to live here, nothing else. I'm just a little bit different from your convicts out there. Not much. But at least I don't have to take your orders. I tell you, work, she's got me at a complete loss. I just don't know what to do. If you ask me, she needs a little discipline. And you can bet she'll get it after we're married. Well, perhaps time will tell. While you were gone, we had some new arrivals. The ship was nearly two weeks early. Oh? Stephen Duval. What about him? Besides writing books, did you know he's quite famous as an artist? Tell me, what word did you tell that you signed it? The beach, why? I'd like to see this man in my office. Send him over in about an hour. So what'd you have in mind? An idea. Just an idea. There's a lot of water out there. Too much for what you're thinking. A few centuries ago, a whole race of people crossed that ocean, nothing but primitive rafts. You really think it's possible? I think anything is possible. Just have to find the right way of doing it. Well, huh? let that go for now. You'll want it in the Commandant's office. Come on. Come in, Duval. Sit down. Uh, that'll be all, Muller. Thank you. Cigarette? No, thank you. So you're Stephen Duval, a man who writes books about those great horizons of misunderstanding. Tell me, do you really believe future generations will look at today as an age of barbarians? Considering our place and time, they may call us civilized. But they won't approve of our conception of government. I don't think approval is the right word necessarily, but perhaps they'll see our mistakes and profit by them. And after all this wonderful evolution, they'll have the perfect society. No politics, no taxation, no unhappiness. Look, if you called me in to hear my views on society, I think it would be a great deal simpler for you just to read them. Ah, but too many people have read them, Duval. If they hadn't, you'd be a free man today. But actually, I sent for you not to talk about writing, but your work as an artist. I was very much impressed with your paintings at the art festival in Paris last year. So much so that I'd like you to do a portrait of my daughter. When my wife was alive, she spent most of her time painting. That's an interest I'd like my daughter to pick up. 
I rather hope you can bring that about. Do you, do you have oils and camps? Everything you need will be arranged for in the morning. You can report in here. Mm. Duval, one thing I didn't mention, my daughter is, uh, well, a little stubborn and very strong-willed. She may take to this, and she may not. If she does, I want you to do your best. My daughter, Marlene. How do you do? Is everything satisfactory in the way of equipment? Yes, except I, uh, I need some turpentine and a few pieces of cloth. All right, I'll see to it. Anything else? No. Is there something I can take care of for you, my dear? No, thank you. Well, then, suppose you get started. I'll try to stop in later. Hmm? Will I be difficult to paint? No, I, I don't think so. You're not disappointed? Disappointed? No, of course not. Uh, won't you sit down? Mr. Duvall, I don't want to startle you, but I must get right to the point. I think I can get you off this island. Why would you want to do that? The biggest problem right now is getting you to trust me. I know what you have at stake. I already trust you, that's why I'm here. I didn't consent to this because I'm interested in art or in having my portrait done. I went along because it'll mean getting out of St. Laurent. This may sound strange, Mr. Duvall, but I'm as much a prisoner here as you are. What could I possibly do to help you? I've lived on this island since I was a child. Before my mother died, she dreamed of getting us off. For certain reasons I won't go into, my stepfather controlled her life as well as my own. The police, as far as Dutch Guiana, are under his orders to keep me here. Everyone knows they'll be generously rewarded if they work with the Commandant. The only way I'll ever make it is with someone I can trust. And uh, you picked me? I know exactly who and what you are. One of your books was smuggled in from Brazil. I read it cover to cover three times. Have you also read that faith is blind? Learning about people is the one thing I've had plenty of time to do. Many have tried to get off this island and failed because of weakness. But none of them were you. Surely you've been thinking about escape. I thought of nothing else. Now that you've been sent here, I suppose the public will be influenced by propaganda against your ideas. Yes, they plan to publish a book which will back down on every principle and put my name on it. So you have a stronger reason than I imagined for getting to Brazil. We can help each other. I know we can. If you can believe in me. I know what you're thinking. There's no way I can prove myself to you. Actually, you don't have to. I've been taking chances all my life. There's no reason to change now. Do you know of one other man you can trust? Bernard Dion. He came over on the ship with me. Good. You know the gate that leads to the main yard? I I've seen it, yes. Wait a few minutes tonight at the lights out. Go directly to the flagpole. Shh. I hear something. Morning, Marlene. I hear you've decided to become a mother. How's it coming? So far, very well. Tell me, Duval, how long does a thing like this usually take? Well, it depends on the subject. An artist tries to bring out the basic heart and emotion of the person. 
people radiate this more than others. And some is practically non-existent. I see. Well, I hope you don't have too much trouble bringing out whatever it is, Duval. Because the sooner you get through with this, the quicker I'll have you outside with the rest of your kind. I'll see you at dinner, Marlene. How's it going? Oh, not bad, not bad. My feet aren't completely used to the place, but they're getting there. <laughs> you mind the night duty? Would it do me any good if I did? Well, don't worry. Another month or so, I'll take you off it, and I'll rotate you around the clock with the other boys. Hey, how about a drink? Oh, oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, ah, it's good stuff, huh? Yeah. I was told you didn't go much for the bottle. Well, as a matter of fact, I don't. But this is a special occasion. I'm oh, yeah. getting married. Oh. Yeah, it's in a celebration, engagement celebration. <laughs> hey, how about a toast? <laughs> well, sure, sure. I'll make it. Uh, here's to a lot of happy days and all that goes with them. Good. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh. Tell me, what's uh, going to happen? Oh, pretty soon, I guess. Uh, you know women. They're about as unpredictable as the winds in a hurricane. Yeah. You never know which way they're liable to turn. But when they do, whoa, you gotta be ready. Yeah. You know, I have been trying for three years to get her to set a date, and all I ever got was one stall after another. And all of a sudden, she sweetens up and she says, we've been waiting too long. Well, don't fight it. Oh, no, no, I'll go along with it. She can hold the reins any way she wants to. Now, but after we tie that knot, Things are going to be different. Things are going to be run the way they should be. Yeah. Well, you go back to work. I think I'll take a walk and walk off this headache.
Let's drink a toast to a man with persuasion and our next commandant. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you haven't heard about the engagement. <laughs> that you are? Yeah. Yeah, I heard about it. Here, gang. I've got to hand it to you. This sure is sweet. This is the Commandant's boat. When we pull into Moengo, it'll help make our story look legitimate. What's the next move? Well, Worf here and I are getting married. Yeah, we heard. Well, the news made everyone quite happy. I knew the Commandant would be so thrilled he'd want to tell his friend, the Inspector of Police at Moengo. Well, they talk every night by shortwave radio. The inspector has never met Worf, and he knows I'd want to be married in a certain Brazilian village, the same as my mother. I'm curious about something. Why did you bring me along? A rule of the Commandant. Whenever leaving the island for any reason, the guards must always be in pairs. All police are aware of that. Do we lose this boat at the next stop? We'd never make it on the river. Our only chance is to get a plane out of Moengo. Hey, wait a minute. If the Commandant talks to his friend on short wave, what's going to happen tomorrow? I think he'll be somewhat annoyed. <laughs> I'm the daughter of the Commandant at St. Lorraine. We would like to see the inspector. Of course, miss. This way, Jerry, and we'll see you now. You don't understand. We want to see the inspector. I'm afraid you'll have to talk to the lieutenant. This way. Sit down. I'm Lieutenant Verdo. How do you do? The inspector is a friend of mine. We'd like to see him. No, oh, unfortunate. You've missed him by an hour. He's gone. To see Laurent, to see your father. 
His launch must nearly have passed you in the harbor. Captain Wharf and I are getting married. We'll want to catch the plane out to Brazil as soon as possible. Well, the inspector will be back tonight, and I'm sure he'll arrange to get you out on tomorrow's plane. But, Lieutenant... It's all right, Marlene. I, uh, I don't think one day will make too much difference. I'm really very sorry about this inconvenience. It's all right, Lieutenant. Thanks very much. You've been very kind. Thank you. I'm sure you'll find the necessary accommodations at the hotel. Like every eye in Muengo was looking at us. Well, take it easy. We'll come up with something. If you ask me, the lieutenant will probably stop by the hotel to see if we've checked in. Then he'll know for sure. He'll know before long anyway. Inspector? Before he's halfway up the river, he'll be intercepted with a search car. He's coming down. He's radio headquarters for his boat. And what are we going to do? The only thing we can do get out of here right now. There's only one place where we might have a chance. Jungle? Eventually, we might be lucky enough to circle back to the river. Smart me. I had everything all figured out. We wind up no better off than the ones who try the impossible. But, Marlene, you think maybe... No, I don't. No matter what happens. And I'd rather die in that jungle than think of anything but getting farther away. No telling what we might be up against. I've heard plenty of stories. I know our chances of reaching Brazil aren't worth much, but... Whether we do or we don't, I'll never regret trying. Good. Come on. I don't think we've missed anything. The streets, the docks, everything's been covered. They've left Moengo and gone into the jungle. Stupid police in Moengo. About as efficient as a... A bunch of school children. Don't forget, they were notified that they're late. And when you mention efficiency, I think we'd best speak for ourselves. Now you know my record. Not one escape. Twelve years and not one successful escape. Simmer down, Worf. I know the kind of job you've done. This one's a little different when you consider Marlene's ingenuity. Yeah? How do you know they didn't force her into it, huh? We both know that's not very likely. Well, they'll come out when they've had enough of that jungle. I'm afraid I can't agree with that either. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going after them. Into the jungle? Yes, into the jungle if necessary. Well, if you know very well of our limitations. But you can we take... We have no jurisdiction outside but the prison But you can limits. take... Look, Mama, I'm going to be tied up here for a while. Take care of the shift change, and if you see Cabot, tell him I want to see him right away. Now, about this jurisdiction. You know you can handle that. Did you go alone? No. I'll take Cabot with me. Some natives to handle the boat. You'll stay on the river. Of course. They'll show up on it eventually. There's no other way to keep direction. You really want her quite badly, don't you, Orf? It's not her. She can do what she wants about me. But I'm going to get them. I'm going to get them because nobody's ever gotten away from me. And I'm keeping her that way. I see. Now, wait a minute. Head native boy at the boat. Okay. Well, that about does it. Everything's loaded. I suppose you're prepared to stick it out with Cabot. If anything should go wrong, I can't spare any more men. Don't worry. I've got nothing but time. Well, Mother, this puts you in charge for a while. At least I hope it'll be temporary.
This looks like a pretty good place to make camp. What do you say? Well, I'm tired, but I'd still like to put a few more miles behind us. Well, if the boat's up to me, I'm for calling it a day. Well, it'll soon be dark anyhow. Well, I guess we can make a framework for shelter out of this. And use some of those leaves over there for a roof. Good. Have to dig a pit for fire and get some firewood. There's no shortage of that. Let's get started. Yeah. You think you can handle it by yourself for a while? What's the matter? You that tired? No, but I think we could all use a little nourishment. I'll go out and see if I can find some small game. Hey, now you're talking. That's the best thing you've said yet. Go ahead. I'll have the fire ready. Good. I'll help you. The mention of food even gave me some energy. Be better with a little wine. Shall we say sauterne? No, I think perhaps Chablis might be best. I always drank Chablis on Saturday nights in Paris. There's a little cafe on the left bank. It's called Petit Chateau. Ah, huh. oh, the wonderful dinners I've had in that place. On Saturday nights, I'd walk in with an exquisite young lady on my arm. The maitre d' would walk up and bow and tell us how our table was ready. And then he'd bring us wine. I'll tell you, there's nothing so romantic in all of France. I've only read about places like Paris. When I was younger, I used to have the same dream over and over. I was invited to a party and I wore a purple dress. All of the young men were waiting to dance with me. At 12 o'clock, I'd leave the party and ride home in a carriage. I'd listen to the sound of the hoofbeats against the cobblestone streets. But there are no carriages today. If you were in Paris, I should say when you're in Paris, you'll see for yourself. If we get to Brazil, you'll both be safe. But you can never return to France. Where will you go? Well, I have a friend that lives in Montreal. He'll find something for me to do there. You mean you'll do something else in Canada besides writing? I don't plan to do any more writing. But you must. What, you'll be able to reach more people now than you ever did before. Well, perhaps, but somehow reaching them doesn't seem to mean very much. It could make you a rich man. A story of exile and escape. Why, a book like this could sell a million copies. It's funny how man has always been fascinated by someone else's struggle. Would you call that compassion? In a sense, I, I suppose it is. Well, from what I've seen, people talk a lot about having compassion and such, but when a man needs help, he usually winds up alone. Convention is a great narcotic. Well, who knows? Perhaps by the time we get out of here, I'll be able to write a book on survival myself. Well, don't leave me out. I want to be famous, too. You may accomplish that. If Steve should change his mind, we just can't. I think if any of us expect to see anything outside this jungle, we better get some sleep. Yeah, I think you're right. I hope some of that heat penetrates inside. Oh, don't worry about it. The way I feel right now, I won't have any trouble sleeping. I'll take the first watch. I'll wake in a few hours. If you get sleepy, let me know. Sure. Good night. Good night. <sighs> Take a strong will to stay in there any length of time. Well, who are me? I try the ocean. Stand a better chance out there. Remember the old man? Uh, cravat. Sixteen days, and he was still in good shape. Yeah, if a French ship hadn't picked him up, he'd have made it. It's a matter of luck. When you think of all the neutral ships they could have seen him first. 
Doesn't sound just like one of the convicts. Well, you can't help but think about it. Besides, it's good to know how their minds are working. Their minds aren't working at all. That's why they try to get away with it. Do they have any supplies? Well, according to that, oh, they, they didn't buy anything in Malingo. There was nothing missing at the island. Well, then it's just a matter of time. Take a rest. How do you feel? Like I've been walking for a month. I'll get used to it. Well, I think we've done pretty well so far. That sun isn't playing tricks on us. Threw me off a long time ago. First, I thought it was in front of us, and then it seemed to change. How many miles have we made? Oh, I don't know. I'd say maybe 30. Maybe a little more. The river takes a bend to the south about here. And straightens out to the west again. No, I think they were edging toward it now. It'll sure look good when we get there. I've been tempted to take a drink from every little pond we run into. We've got to keep washing our clothes in them every day. I always heard that clean clothes is the first rule of the jungle. I think there's some logs, River. Do you think we might be able to fashion some kind of raft? Hey, maybe we could build a dugout. No, I guess that would take too much time. Run into Indian territory, the best thing we can do is keep right on the be getting close to the rapids. A few more miles. Is there any way we can get through without ditching this boat? Not a chance. The hull's too deep. I just hate the idea of all that walking. Well, stop thinking about it. All we have to do is get around a couple of those bends. We'll shortcut through the jungle. 
we get below the rapids, I'll get the boys to build us a dugout. And they'll go back to where we ditched the boat. We'll continue on down to the dugout. How far? Far enough. So we'll be waiting. Till it passes. I thought to bring along some more razor blades. And some soap. I guess I was too excited and I did too much thinking. Yeah. I can think of a lot of things we should have done. Yeah, like getting a map of Brazil. I bet we've covered miles we didn't have to. Must be pretty tough on Marlene. You know, she's quite a girl. Since you've been around her, Steve, I noticed something about you. Noticed what? Mm, sort of a quietude inside. What's that supposed to mean? Only that perhaps something has happened to her and to you. Uh, you know, Dion, you've got an imagination as big as that Amazon itself. I hope you use it to help build that shelter. Here, let me do that. I found a couple of dead trees for firewood. Back over there. Right. Sometimes I see things in the flame. Almost images. Great imagination. Oh, I've got plenty of that. According to Steve, it's as big as the Amazon. <laughs> right at that, as far as some things go. You know, I've never figured anything in my whole life that worked out right for me. Oh, I had plenty of imagination, all right, but I guess I just never learned how to use it. Sounds like you made a few gambles. I always imagined that one day I'd get lucky. It just never happened. Oh, well. I think I'll take a walk before I turn in. I'm not sleepy. Must be that imagination, huh? <laughs> well, I'll get a little more firewood. How about you, Steve? Do you see anything in the fire? No, I'm afraid not. No, I guess you wouldn't. You're not really the kind for that. I'm not. I think in that way you're a lot different than I am. Some people are dreamers in a sense. They make up little fantasies to block out the truth. But you? I think you look at reality as a challenge, and you won't deviate from it. It's a good code. Then, it made you want to give up your writing. Uh, very good analysis. Yeah, you've developed a great deal of insight for someone who spent their whole life on that island. I told you I had a lot of time to study people, and that's one place where emotions are basic. You're certainly right about that. I never told you why the Commandant had to keep you there tonight. No. It happened a long time ago when he was captain of the guards. The Commandant at that time was a man named De Armand. He was about to retire and leave the post open. But he wouldn't recommend my stepfather for it. 
One day he was out fishing with several of the guards and a terrible storm came up. It came very bad and the engine room was flooded. At night he radioed my stepfather to send a rescue ship. Of course it never left. My mother and I were the only witnesses in the radio room. She, uh, she couldn't do anything? She tried. She eventually paid for it with her life. Oh, he didn't kill her. Not outwardly. She wasn't well. But I know she could have gotten better. That was when I started to learn about people. It was my first lesson. And one I'll never forget. What about those fantasies you mentioned? Oh, they helped. For a lot of years. There didn't seem to be any other way I could exist. Then one day I made up my mind. I would get out. I didn't know how or when. Only that someday. Too late. No. Oh, Stick. No. <laughs> That's the best we can do for him. Let's go. Well, that's not going to do any good. Dion knew what he was up against. But it's Steve. Now, look. You've got to get hold of yourself. We've got a lot ahead of us. We're going to need all the strength we can get. Over here. 
Well, we should start down the river. The dugout's all ready. Tell me something, Worf. What? How long are we going to wait in that dugout? How do I know how long? Until we find them. Let's go. That's what I thought. What if we don't find them? What's the matter with you? Nothing. Except that there is a possibility we may not find them. And we ought to put a time limit how long we're going to wait. I made a flat deal for a bonus, whether we take them back or not. You did, huh? Well, let me tell you something, Cabot. We'll find them all right. Because sooner or later, they'll show up on that river. I don't care how long it takes. But if I were you, I wouldn't worry about spending that bonus until after you earn it. Let's go. see some smoke, even hear voices. Are any of them around here? I don't think so. They seem to be starting some kind of ritual. Oh, Steve, I'm scared. Look, now you wait here. I think you'll be safe enough until I get back. Why? What are you going to do? I'm going to try to help Warp and Cabot. Help them? Yes. Steve, they came after us. I know they did. What can you do to help them? No, you've got to understand. Oh, Steve, let's get out of here. I've got to try to help them no matter who they are. Oh, Steve. Now, if I'm not back in a few minutes, you go to the river. No! I'm staying with you. I guess I'd have a good win and argument with you. Come on, let's take a look. Hey, 
Marlene found your boat, those Indians know about it too. They probably do. And in their boats, they can overtake us in a matter of minutes. Well, we gotta try anyway. Come Just on. Just a minute, look. We'll get in the dugout, cross the river, hide in the jungle, push it down the river empty. Now yeah, that might work. And the car can carry it on down. Come on. <laughs> farther on down. They go for this. They'll have trouble trying to catch it down there. Well, now in a few minutes. Think of it, that dugout trick. Made the lower rapids by now. They'll be chasing you for hours. 
I still think we'd better move out. We've got a lot of jungle ahead. Oh, excitement. I, I guess I forgot. I've no legal jurisdiction in this territory. If I did, I wouldn't use it. Thanks. You'd break your own law. Well, a lot of rules were broken when, when you two risked your life to save me and Cabot. Maybe for Cabot, it was an awful short time. But you know, back there in that hut, we both became aware of something. Something, well, that's more important than convention. For that and saving my life, I want to thank you. Or I'll, uh, look, you know where you are? Uh, not too well. Well, uh, you haven't very far to go. Just a few miles to the northwest is a friendly native village. They'll guide you to a plantation. From there, I you haven't far to go. What about you? Oh? I'll head east, back to an outpost. Try to get some transportation back to St. Laurent. Will you stay there? I don't know. You know, I, I always wanted to be commandant. Somehow, it, it doesn't seem very important now. Well, goodbye, Worf. You know, you may not realize it, but you've given me a great deal. What's that? A reborn faith. Well, how'd I do that? You'll know in a few months when you read about it. Good luck, Molly. I'll write to you. From Brazil? No, from Canada. <laughs> <laughs>